What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now I want to give you a quick update on Shiba Inu as of course the market has been falling. Shiba Inu's price is down just around 6% just today alone leaving many people wondering what is going on and what they should be doing. So with that in mind of course let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into the video. So looking at Shiba Inu here what we can see is that yes its price has continued to fall since our last video. Now as a recap in our last video what I told you is you know we were a little bit higher up here. I said look this little range is going to be extremely important but between this 239 and of course this 2090 levels i said look as long as we're in here we could very easily hold some support and continue back upwards i mean that's well within the realm of possibility or at least start to go sideways a little bit and just end this straight down dump that we've been in for the last shoot i mean what's this for shiba inu about six to coming up on eight weeks maybe or so right so we could use this zone to find the bottoming out of this this little dump that we've been in right but what i said was like look you know there's no way to guarantee that that happens right i mean there's just no way of knowing truly what shiba inu is going to do but what we can do is kind of just prepare for whatever does happen now in the macro okay in the macro i am a shiba inu bull in the long term i think shiba inu's price is going to end up being higher eventually than it is right now i think eventually it's going to surpass the high that it got to this year and so of course because of that my whole strategy at this given point is to prepare for that eventual macro long-term bullish move and this is how i'm going to prepare for that long-term macro bullish move Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is, of course, buying at major support levels. It's the easiest way that you can go to keep a clear mind in these moments in which the market is dumping, right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, be purchasing at each key level that I believe Shiba Inu could use as support to continue upwards. Because I'm under the belief that eventually Shiba Inu is going to find some support and continue upwards. Now, where that is, you never know. There's no way of knowing. Stop trying to guess. Stop trying to have a crystal ball. No one knows. But again, eventually, I believe it will happen, and this is how I prepare for it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be buying Shiba Inu in gradual amounts that get bigger and bigger and bigger the lower it goes. So the first one that I'm going to be doing is actually buying exactly where we are now. I like this 0 .000 blah 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 2090 level. I like the fact that we found support on it on multiple occasions right here. I like the fact that we closed on it right here. We closed on it here. We use it to push up here. And then we use it for this move upwards there. I like the fact that that was a point of liquidity back here. I like the fact that if you go back a little bit further, we found support on it previously before. Does that guarantee? guarantee that we're going to find support on it now no it might easily just go straight through this thing but i just like the fact that we have historically found support here i like the fact that the bulls historically have purchased here and considering that i'm a bull and i want to contribute to the cause i'm going to be doing my fair share of buying do, buying some shiba inu as its price is now at the current bottom side of this range that i said could easily push the price back to the upside under the right market conditions and circumstances so i'm going to again be buying some shiba inu right here now under the circumstance in which we do see Shiba Inu's price lose this key support level, you do need to understand that we don't have much liquidity in this zone, and that it may just easily come straight down to this 1719 level. That's well within the realm of possibilities. It's extremely possible. The reason being, of course, just because it would have then lost its key support level, and now it's looking to come back to the macro 618 to 786 Fibonacci zone, in which we, of course, are tracking from this swing low all the way up to this swing high. So, considering this massive point of liquidity and this massive point of support, is sitting so close to where we are now and there's not much liquidity in between this and this it might literally just go straight down it might just go straight down into it and so that's the reason why i'm doing incrementally bigger purchases at the lower it goes i'm not doing a huge purchase right here i'm just doing a nice medium-sized average purchase okay and so i'm just going to do a little average purchase here and under the circumstance in which shiba inu's price does fall below this yes i'm going to then buy some more the lower we get my step process right now is i'm probably actually going to buy a little bit after once we hit this wick zone because we of course we wicked here and if you look at this little zone historically this is actually a previous point of resistance as well and we've wicked to this a couple times and so because of this i am going to be doing a little bit bigger of a purchase right here once we lose if slash once we lose that support i'm going to do a bigger purchase at 1719 so i have three buy levels right now buy level number one is exactly where we are currently sitting at 0 0.0002089 the next one that i have would be sitting right here right around this 1828 level and then the next purchase that i would have would be set in right here at the 1721 level and i'm gonna do again incrementally bigger purchases the lower we get and i'm under the belief that at some given point whether it's at this one this one this one or a little bit lower that we're gonna see shiba inu's price 
end this dump that we've been in. I think we're going to see it go start going sideways or maybe even bounce to the upside, pull back, higher low continuation. I think something like this will eventually happen. And I think each one of these levels gives us a fair shot that that's going to be the level that causes it. And so I'm going to do incrementally bigger purchases because again, remember my whole goal is that I believe Shiba Inu eventually is going to work its way up here somewhere, right? And so knowing that I'm going to be buying at the best times that I possibly can and the strongest support levels that I can possibly find as it does continue downwards and it doesn't matter how low it gets even if it goes to 1171 or something like that now here i'm going to be doing very big buys down here expecting that very soon at that point we would be looking for the return to the upside so that's my plan i'm a bull that's the goal that's the way i like to go i am not leverage trading right now um personally on anything higher than two to three x leverage quite simply just because at the end of the day leverage trading right now puts you in a position in which the market is so volatile you might get it right right like you might go long on leverage and you might end up being right and the market could end up pushing upwards but because the volatility is so crazy and because so much is going on in the market you can end up getting liquidated in that process and never even get to see those gains there's just no point especially when you can literally just buy it and leave it alone like i said i do some small leverage 3x 4x 5x just to multiply my gains and don't put myself at risk of liquidations but i'm not not doing big leverage trades now if you personally do want to start using a little bit of leverage please do use my link down in the description below you're going to get up to thirty thousand dollars okay thirty thousand dollars in trading bonuses which is absolutely ridiculous and you're going to get free access to our trading group which is linked down in the description below so go to coin w and check it out you don't need the kyc also meaning you don't need to give them any of your personal information you can just deposit funds and just start trading so overall that's my plan that's the goal that's what i'm doing with shiba inu i'm not worried i'm not scared i really don't care i'm just going to buy more and more and more as it goes lower expecting that this bull run will continue and we will see some gains the worst case scenario here is that the bull run is over and i have to hold on to these banks for a while into the next one kicks off and it just is what it is i don't really care that much i'm a long-term bull and i mean it so with that in mind i will continue to update you today i have a bitcoin video planned solana i have a um a render video planned i have a casper video planned i got a bunch of videos planned so subscribe to the channel check out the other videos turn on notifications and i'll see you all very soon peace out everybody